name is John Allen Namu. I'm an investigative reporter and a co-founder of Africa Uncensored. I was in USIU from 2003, January 2003 to August 2006. My name is Eugene Bugger. I'm an entrepreneur and television producer. Um, I run a company called Documentary and Reality Television Limited. We produce a bunch of TV shows like Soul Family, Concert Nyumbani, uh, Perfect Wedding, Story Angle. It's a lot. I joined USIU in 2009 and graduated in 2013. And I majored in, uh, I did the journalism course and majored in television production and minored in print. USIU was a very crucial part of my journey as a journalist. I learned loads of things. I learned um, how to improve my writing, how to be a better journalist in terms of interacting with the public. I did my first story there. I met lots of people who I went on to work with um, in, in my career as a reporter. Hi, Moro. I think the thing that uh, stuck out the most for me is a couple of things. The first one was how uh, cosmopolitan USIU was. I mean, the, the number of nationalities I interacted with, you know, having, having come from high school, I don't think I knew any foreigner. And so one of the, the, the things that was very intriguing about USIU was just how, how much it exposed you to a lot of, of, of different nationalities. Of course, this opens up your mind a lot. Also, the way the course is set up, it wasn't just um, television production because you had to study fine art, you had to study a foreign language, you had to study um, writing and, and language. So by the time I got to the journalism courses, I felt like I had really gotten um, a lot of wholesome learning. I want that very interactive, playful feel. So even if you're, a, if, if you're a poet or performing and you mess up, just laugh about it and go again. We don't want it to be super structured and, and stiff. We want it to be very light and easy going. <laughs> I was also quite fascinated by the equipment that USIU had at the time. So it was all at USIU where I learned to edit because prior to that I could not access um, an iMac or, or, or editing software. And I remember at the time uh, USIU was actually the first place I had ever seen Final Cut Pro 10, uh, which to, to this day is what, uh, one of the softwares that we use for our productions. So that was quite something, just the amount of equipment they had. I've not been there of course in years, and, but I imagine it's, it's, it's up to date nonetheless. But I think more than that was the debate in, in the classroom between students and their lecturers. I remember plenty of classes um, that we spent just debating the issues um, of the time with people like uh, Professor James Oranga and, and other lecturers, uh, Professor Cherutich. And that freedom to think about news issues and not just think about them in terms of a grade, but really think about them in the space and time that they were happening makes you a more present journalist and makes you think more architecturally about your profession. And the seed of that definitely it was planted at USIU. Tell us more about makeup thing. There's natural beauty, which everyone says it is. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, there's makeup which people term as color. Color? Yes. Okay. For example, like what I have on right now. That's this, color. This is color. But also just applying lotion on yourself. Or... That's makeup. Yes, that is makeup. It's not the natural you, is it? I think the one thing that I carried with me were my lessons um, in, um, <laughs> in ethics um, and the expression that anyone who was taught by the great Joe Kathy would, would know, publish and be damned. I would say the, the actual skills of filmmaking I learned from USA, you know, Mr. Mutua, Mr. Nyanuti. Um, I would say I learned a lot, a big percentage of what I know about filmmaking I learned from USIU at the time. Definitely creative and narrative writing. Um, that's something that I've, I've carried with me through my career. It's informed my style of reporting. It's not so on the nose, sort of like hard news journalism, but rather I, I believe more creative and that's something that I was I was able to learn in terms of my uh, through, through some of the lessons that I learned at, at USIU. Something else that I'm, I'm practicing almost on a daily basis are just the principles of broadcast uh, journalism. Now of course we're doing it online but a lot of the rules are the same. Essentially the way we've been able to report and grow ourselves as, as reporters started with 
our lessons and, and the, the courses that we took at USIU. So I would encourage anyone who's looking to study journalism or TV production to, uh, to consider doing it at USIU Africa. The faculty is very up to task, they have very good equipment and that's where I honed my skills. I tell students studying at USIU right now to take their classes seriously. It's not just for a grade. The things that you will do, you will actually apply at some point in your career. It might not be apparent at the point, at the stage that you're at, but really trust the process. For people who are applying to uh, join us, I would say it's a great program. Um, it's got really good people who are teaching there, some of whom have even come back, some of whom went through the degree and have come back to teach with oodles of experience, people like Hasha Mwili. It's one of the, those, those um, programs that you won't regret having taken because wider than just a journalism program, the community at USIU is, is, is international. The opportunities that you get to, uh, to view things and, and how you view things will, will be more global. And so you'll come out a more complete journalist or a journalist in training. It's one of those things that having looked back on my own career, that I'm very thankful for um, at the point where I am at now.